Hi, everyone. Today, we are going to present SharePoint Lens, the evolution of the advanced SharePoint indexer, a solution that we already talked about in other videos and blogs. The goal of this new version is to even improve the experience while dealing with SharePoint documentation. Okay. First, let me explain again the, um, what we call internally in NoHub, this Power BI portal, okay, where we can see listed in here a group of contents, items, okay, that corresponds to either files or a group of files under the same folder in SharePoint. Okay. So, um, it, with each content, okay, we have a link that will bring us directly into the file in SharePoint. It will speed up the process to find relevant documentation. Then we can see that we also have the status information and the customer that might correspond this project to, okay, which is hidden for confidentiality purpose and the resource type. Okay. As you can see, we have filtered by sharing session, which are technical documentations, but we also uh, index other type of documents, so such as sales presentations, success story. Okay. For each of these uh, items, we have the tag, the metadata attached to them. Okay? So if we select one of them, we can see the tags that were manually inserted into the SharePoint document when the uh, document was uploaded. Okay? So here we can see that the employee who created it, which is also Hayden, the technology involved in this project, the domain, functional in, the, in which industry, and the SharePoint. Okay, and uh, finally, you know, as you can see, we can browse these items via filters or also via search bar, depending on town content, on the customer name, or on the town. Yeah. Okay, so now we are going to get into this, the new release, the SharePoint land, that basically bring us into a chatbot interface. So with this new release, we have developed two main functionalities. One, which is the AI indexer, which what it does is it automatically summarize new documents uploaded into SharePoint. GPT is cool. Second one being an AI chatbot that's following a RAG architecture or a trivial augmented generation architecture that us ask questions to a chatbot, augment, augmenting the context of it with the internal documents and storing SharePoint. So if we ask a question, say, what is our experience in IoT? Okay, we see two panels here. On the left side, we can see the list of most relevant documents. And for each of them, we can see the summary that was automatically generated when the document was uploaded into SharePoint. An hyperlink that if we click on it, it will bring us directly into the document SharePoint and the list of most mentioned technologies. Okay. On the right side, we can see the answer to the to the question. Okay. And and you can see that every paragraph corresponds to one of the documents. At the end of each paragraph, we have cited to which document corresponds. And here below we have the hyperlinks against to the document to speed up the process to consult the document in case is more detail is, is required. We have added a regenerate answer button that basically, as you know, no, the answers are not deterministic. So in case we feel the answer is not as accurate as we would like, we can ask for regeneration and it will create a new answer. Finally, we have added a follow-up question here, okay, that what basically let us do is either ask to reformat the, the answer or even filter it by year, maybe, no, let's say I, order, I only want documents later than 2020, or in this case, let's say we are going to ask for, to reformat the answer into email and only consider the sources one to an eight because we think these are the most relevant ones. Okay. And we can see that an answer here 
following a, an email format, you know, so ready to be sent, and only mentioning the sources that we have considered more relevant. Okay, uh, so here finishes our demonstration. Hope you have enjoyed it. And just before closing, uh, uh, let me mention about the new future we are working on, which is the AI-generated SharePoint tags. So as mentioned during the video, currently the SharePoint tags are manually inserted by the users, something which is very prone to errors or forgets. So with this new future, we'll automatically uh, identify the most relevant tags and set it up in, in SharePoint automatically. Well, thanks all and see you in another video.